Hi, yeah, quick book review and there'll probably be another one to follow after this. So if I'm wearing the same clothes, you know why. Um, the first one is this one, which I mentioned an earlier one, I think. This is The Last Anniversary by Leanne Moriarty. I'll zoom in so you can see. I think that picture on the cover is really cool, the tree. Um, if I read the back view, it says, Love is a decision, not a feeling. That's what you young people don't realise. That's why you're always off divorcing each other. No offence, dear. So decrees the formidable Connie throng of scribbly gum island. It's been over 70 years since Connie and her sister found the neighbour's new baby working for her feed. The Monroe baby mystery changed their lives and their bank balances forever. Now Connie has passed away and the island residents ponder her legacy. Sophie Honeywell is looking down the barrel of her 40th birthday, still hoping for that fairy tale ending. Grace, excuse me, sorry, Grace, the Monroe baby's beautiful granddaughter, can't tell anyone what she hopes for. It will be too shocking. Meanwhile, a frumpy housewife makes a pact with a stranger, an old lady starts making her own decisions, and a family secret finally explodes on an extraordinary night of mulled wine, fire eating and face painting, the last anniversary. Um, it is... 388 pages, you can see at the top there, and it's funny, it's actually quite a small book, I don't know whether you can see, but it's quite a small format, and I think, actually, I think the text is quite small, it's not too small, but it's quite small, Um, it's okay, it's not the best book I've ever read, and it's certainly not the best one of Leanne Moriarty's that I've read, um, was this her first book? No, this was her second book. Um, as I say, it was okay. Um, I liked the fact that there were different people's stories that all came together. Um, it was kind of, you got to know lots of different people and their stories and about their lives during the book. And it's clever how Leanne Moriarty brought them all together. Um... Just there were parts where I felt like it kind of went on and on and she could have said what she needed to say in half the time. But maybe that was just me. Um, but it's maybe worth a read. If you've enjoyed her other books, it's maybe worth a read. Um, and, yeah. It's published by Pan Macmillan. And this copy was £6.99. I can see it's on the back. Which actually isn't too bad because most paperbacks now seem to be seven ninety nine. So yeah, so as I say, it's maybe worth a read, but not the best one of hers that I've ever read. If I was going to put the three books of hers that I've read in order, I would definitely put um, what Alice forgot first, which is her newest one, and then Three Wishes, which was her first one, and then this one, the last anniversary, which was her second one, would come third. Um, but as I say, if you've enjoyed it with us, it's maybe worth a read. Excuse me, I can't stop yawning. It's the heat. Um, so, yeah, so if you've read this one, let, comment below and let me know what you thought of it. And I shall speak to you soon. Bye.